I said that I will be making an update on the coronavirus situation and its effects on dropshipping and e-commerce in general if situation gets worse and unfortunately it really got worse. When I published my previous coronavirus video just seven days ago there were 28,000 confirmed cases and around 550 people lost their lives. But now, just seven days after, the number of coronavirus cases more than doubled. Situation is getting out of control and this is definitely going to have a huge negative impact on everyone doing dropshipping, Amazon FBA or any other kind of business relying on products from China. Factories were supposed to open on 10th of February but it's now extended for another week and my agent also told me that some factories probably won't open up until the 1st of March. If you spoke with your suppliers and they are saying otherwise they are probably lying. As I mentioned in my previous video the biggest problem with factories being closed is a huge backlog and once they reopen they will focus on customers who are buying in bulk first which is really problematic especially for small dropshippers. I've already shut down all my ads and if you haven't already I really advise you to do so because in my opinion things are really getting out of hand and it doesn't look that the coronavirus is slowing down. If you have pending orders I suggest you to search for the same product on Amazon or eBay and try to find someone with products in US warehouses and make some sort of deal with them in order to avoid chargebacks and getting your customers angry. Currently the most important thing is to keep your customers happy and avoid getting your ad account or payment processor banned. In case you can't find the product you are selling anywhere, you should explain the situation to your customers and offer them refunds if they don't want to wait because we really don't know for how long will factories remain closed. If the number of infected people keep rising like this I don't really think they are going to open up factories anytime soon. I said this in my previous video but for those of you who haven't watched it the most important thing that you can do right now is to step up your support game and try to explain this whole situation to your customers and keep them well informed. You will be surprised at how many people will have understanding and won't request refunds. But no one is going to wait forever, so be prepared to issue refunds if things continue to get worse. I've seen some people suggesting to search AliExpress for suppliers with warehouses in other countries and to start a new dropshipping store dropshipping products that are available in other countries but I wouldn't really advise you to do that. As I said factories are closed which means that even suppliers with the stock outside of China are running low and no one really knows what's going to happen and when our factory is going to start working again. Even if suppliers tell you that they have a lot of units in stock take that with a grain of salt because currently every supplier is losing money and they will say anything to keep the business running. With that being said, be prepared to find new suppliers once the situation settles down because I'm sure that a lot of suppliers will unfortunately go out of business once this settles down. Instead of searching for AliExpress suppliers with units outside of China, I suggest you to go with print on demand, especially if you want to start a new store. Other things that you can try are affiliate marketing and drop servicing, because I'm sure most of you already have good knowledge on how to run successful ad campaigns. So things like drop servicing, print on demand and affiliate marketing won't be really hard for you to get into. Especially since a lot of people already scaled down or stop running ads completely, traffic costs should decrease as well making it much easier for you to test new things. I think that this was a huge lesson for everyone doing dropshipping exclusively and having only one stream of income on how fast things can fall apart and the importance of diversification. Most of you know how to run successful ad campaigns which is really a great skill to have and can be really useful for other business ventures. I know that I currently 
sound like drop shipping is dead, but I really don't think that drop shipping will die anytime soon. It's just that it's pretty unstable right now. And especially if you are just getting started with drop shipping, it's time to pause and think of other things that you can do to make money online until situation with coronavirus settles down. Finally, if you run a successful store and have good customer support in place, maybe it's time to take some vacation and just relax. I already mentioned that I shut down all my ads. I still have enough stock in the US for my most successful brand store to keep shipping to my returning and organic customers. But other than that, I decided to focus on my affiliate websites, start a few more Instagram pages and grow this YouTube channel while waiting for everything to get back to normal. Another thing that you can do is to start sourcing products from other countries that are not manufactured in China. I don't want to mention how to do that just yet until we see how this situation develops and what's going to happen within the next few days. Who knows, maybe in a few days this virus finally starts to calm down and soon after everything gets back to normal. If you however decide to search for products that are manufactured outside of China, be careful since just because something is being made in another country doesn't mean they are completely disconnected from China and it's business as usual. A lot of factories outside of China stopped working as well because they are getting parts or raw materials from China. If you are just starting out with drop shipping, I suggest you to focus on improving your knowledge and learning some new skills. And once this settles down, you will have much better chances at succeeding with drop shipping. I have a lot of videos on my channel on how to grow Instagram pages. So you might want to start learning that and grow some Instagram pages that you can later use as a free traffic source and starter audience for your Facebook pixel. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm.